waves map. Let's go up into our material editor and let's pick on a diffuse map and pick on our mapping here and let's go to waves. Say OK. And we're going to come down here and go to our waves parameter and our wave number wave sets is how many sets of waves we're generating. So the higher the number, the more choppy it is. Uh, and the lower number, the smoother it is. The wave radius is how big in a circle the waves are being generated. Um, and so the uh, the wavelengths, wavelengths max and the wavelength minimum, the closer these things are, the more regular the wave is. So the re uh, regular wave would be good for a flat surface such as the ocean or a pond. The amplitude is the size and strength of the wave, and the phase is how fast the waves come together and, and uh, mesh together, two waves crashing into each other, some cancel out, some amplitude it. Distribution, 3D uh, is the show of the pattern off in 3D, and then 2D is uh, more accurate if you're on a flat surface. Your seed is randomly generating our patterns. And so you can throw in two different colors. Um, I'll throw in some blues. And let's go with a little, little, uh, let's go with uh, something like that. Yeah, there we go. Two different blues. And uh, let's throw in a object. Let's just throw a box in here for now. And I'll apply that. I'm going to show the shaded material in the viewport. And so now I end up with the waves. So keep in mind this uh, the size of your geometry matters too. And also, I can come and render that frame window and hit render, and I end up with my waves. Now, um, so keep in mind that, uh, you know, the size of this thing matters. How big is this pool of water, you know? And uh, so that matters. So you got to set your geometry based on that. And uh, so uh, keep in mind that those sizes and things are going to be based on whatever, if it's a tiny little fountain or if it's a big pond.